Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to filter and sort this list. And so before I continue, I just take a look at my list and I make sure it's consistent. And I did go back and add the company name because this happens all the time. You'll have a supervisor or manager who will uh, give you an original set of instructions and they may say, oh, let's add the company name. So pretty easy to do. We just did that by inserting the field in the very first section here on the page. But in order to ensure that that company name appears in all the labels, we will click on Update Labels. So the next thing that we'll want to do is determine the kinds of sorting and the kinds of filtering that we need to do. So in order to sort and filter, you go back over to Start Mail Merge and you select Edit Recipient List. What this does is it creates uh, a new window and you can see all of the people that are currently on this list that will have a name tag. And the first thing that you'll be asked to do likely is to sort this. Now there's two ways to do that. You can either click on this sort name up here by just clicking once and it will sort all the last names in alphabetical order. Or if you need to do a more complicated sort, you can also sort by name and then by company name as well. So if you have to complete more than one sort, then you will want to use this dialog box to sort for two different conditions. But if you're just doing a simple sort of last names, or if you're only sorting by company, so that's one parameter, then just use the simple uh, mechanism of clicking at the top of one of the columns, which we've done here. So we just check and we see that yes, in fact, we have it in alphabetical order. The next thing that you might want to do is you may want to only print specific name tags or, pr or specific labels. And so in this case, we are going to suggest that we only need labels for Pennsylvania. And so what we do is we click on this word filter and we select the word state because we're filtering according to state and we just type in Pennsylvania, making sure that it's spelled correctly. You'll click on OK and then watch what happens to this field below. Only those fields that are associated with the state of Pennsylvania now appear. So once you have that, once you've checked to make sure in fact it's still in alphabetical order, which it should be, you'll click on OK. And then just to preview your results to see if everything looks good, you'll just click on preview results, you'll scroll through, you'll look for two things. You're looking to see whether in fact you do have it in alphabetical order, which it is, and you'll look to see that you filtered correctly, which we have. One additional thing that I'm going to do, however, I noticed when I clicked on preview results that the name doesn't really stand out from the rest of the instructions here. And what we want to do is we really want their name to be front and center so that when they go to greet someone or depending on the purpose of your label, you may want to highlight a certain section of the label itself. So you could, in a very short label, just do this individually, but if you have hundreds of labels, you certainly don't have the time to go back and fiddle with all the formatting for each in addition, additional label. So what you'll want to do is you just select the very first label and you'll make the changes that you wish to put in there. So in this case, I want to make that name a little bit bolder. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to actually italicize it. And then I just check to see whether that works for me. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So if I go back over to mailings and I go back over to update labels, it will create the very first and last name in the actual format that I want. Now, if you don't actually like what it's looking like here, because for instance, we might not have um, the first and last name on the same page, what will happen is you can always go back to preview results and see if in fact it will print right. And just because it doesn't appear correctly here does not mean it will not appear correctly in your preview. And that's because, of course, there's many more letters associated with the description of what's going on than the actual content. And so what we've just shown you is how to create a mail merge. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to finish mail merge. So the, we, to do, we are to do that by clicking on finish merge. We click on edit individual document. We want to merge all the records that we currently have and we click on OK. What it does is it takes the data source, the formatted document, it brings it together and it creates a brand new document. You now label that document because right now it's only called Labels 1. You label that document with something that you will remember according to its context and then you celebrate because in fact you have created your first mail merge. <laughs>